hello guys welcome back in this video let's have a look on the line tool so if you could see we have uh, the line tool here in the rectangle tool section so the shortcut for this is u you can access uh, by the toolbox here directly so if you press u you can select the rectangle tool and uh, you can cycle between the tools by pressing shift u so access the line tool here so line tool has got shape path and pixels if you go here uh, in the presets section we have 0.5 centimeters black arrow so when I just click and I'm getting an arrow here so uh, if I generally use this uh, path tool I can select it and I can delete it or edit it if I wanted so let me start with uh, the line tool and the reason uh, how did I get the arrow here is so if you just go here to this settings we have the arrow on the uh, end so I just switch it off and then the arrow will be ended there so if I just click and drag now you get a line with a thickness of 0.5 centimeters okay so you can also change it to 10 pixels okay so what I need to do is just click and drag and then you get a line here with a specific thickness you can increase or decrease the uh, thickness there okay so while you are drawing this straight line I need to just click and then if I hold shift that line becomes a straight line I mean it either it will be a horizontal line a vertical line or a 45 degree angled line so I'm going to select that and delete it okay and uh, we have uh, the fill which is going to fill this one and we also have the stroke we can choose a stroke but to see the stroke I need to take a bigger uh, weight so I'm going to take a weight of 50 pixels and then just click and drag then you should able to see I got a yellow line which is quite thick and also got the uh, thickness so the thickness is one pixel so let me choose a 10 pixel thickness and you get a thick line you can choose a dotted line or a dashed line and also you can go explore the options there so click that and then you can put a dash of zero and gap of five and then choose the round butt and you should see you got the dot dotted line then dash of four and then gap of four dash of ten gap of one so you should be able to see you got a unique uh, stroke for it uh, you can just save that stroke it's there here now you can uh, also control the width of that uh, one let's put it to 100 and then let's put it to 100 then it generally scales transforms as a normal object which is giving me a sharing effect so one thing you should uh, know about this is let's say when I'm choosing the rounded rectangle in the property section I'm getting all the rounded rectangle uh, properties uh, but when you do take a straight uh, line tool okay immediately that's turning into a path it's not uh, giving you a chance to edit it after you have created so we have uh, all that settings here on the top and uh, apart from that we have uh, combine which is going to combine this shape we have uh, subtract which you can generally use to subtract them and uh, we have uh, intersect which will be intersecting the tool segments so um, I'm going to select all of them delete and then you have new layer okay so you can select and then hold shift and then add a lot of lines there and once you have created them you can select uh, all of the paths you can choose uh, align top edges so they all align to the top 
and also we can choose uh, distribute width and then they space equally uh, so you have aligned to canvas also where you can align everything to the top edge of the canvas so you can choose between the selection also uh, you can also select this shape and then um, you can subtract it and once you subtracted it you can uh, you have this uh, importance of moving the shapes before and forward so sending it backward will not uh, subtract it whereas bringing it forward can actually subtract it so sometimes uh, um, the arrangement of the shapes is really important for this operation so you can choose that here okay so you have uh, all that density option and feather option you can explore which have you have in the path tools so that's uh, the options here and lastly we have uh, this setting so we have arrow heads which are for start and end so i'll switch on for the start and then you should able to see there's an arrow for the start side what is start side first click becomes a start side okay now if you just choose end first click does not have the arrow the last click will have the arrow and uh, if you could able to see here we have start and uh, end start and end side you can put the arrows you have width and length uh, which are basically 500% and 1000% and what that actually means is whatever the weight you have taken which is 50 pixels when you take 500 pixels the width of the arrow head will be 500 times bigger than its current value okay so let me put it to 100 and then let me put it to 100 and then you should able to see the arrows are pretty uh, small now when I just increase this to 200 200 and then when we draw the arrow start showing up okay so let me choose this to 500 the arrow becomes too lengthy and we have a concavity I'll just choose it to 0 and then you should able to see this is a straight line there uh, let me choose this to 500 also and then you should able to see that concavity 0 is giving this however I'll just uh, explore minus and plus concavity so let me choose minus 50 and then draw so you should able to see that line is going it, it's, it looks like a sphere head whereas the 50 concavity gives you the inside arrow and then when I choose this to 0 this is straight so this line is what you are controlling here with this concavity settings okay so this is what we have in the line segment